from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. Back at the bar, back at Tommy Max. It brought to you by our friends at truckcrashlaw.com. Got a great show lined up for you today. We're talking about the future of Jacksonville. Let's welcome in the panel. Leanna Cumber is here, our mayoral candidate. How are you, Leanna? Welcome back. See you. Getting down to the end, right? Yes. Getting down to the nitty gritty time. Five days. How are we feeling? Feeling great. Feeling election great. day is what? Election night is Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Coming up. Early voting ends this Sunday, and it's all about turnout. And uh, how has it been for you? You've been beating the streets, beating the phones, doing it all, right? It's been great. We've knocked on more than 50,000 doors. We've made over 50,000 calls. We are out there. It is it is a ground game that's going to win this thing. So yeah, absolutely. Great. All right, cool. We're going to ask the panel a question that'll right. definitely be involving you, no doubt about it. Daniel Nunn, how are you? Great. Great to see you. Welcome to the show. Great to Nelson be here. Mullins, is that correct? That's right. Tell us about uh, about your career, what you've been doing. So I'm a mergers and acquisitions lawyer. Um, I've been doing it for 33 years. Okay. And uh, we, we have a small office of a very large firm. We are okay. a 12-person office in a 1,000-lawyer firm with offices all across the United States. Okay. And you've been, uh, so mergers and acquisitions, any industry you like dealing with more than others? What's your favorite? So I'm sort of industry agnostic, but I've done more in basic material industries, construction-related stuff over the years okay. than anything else. But I've also done a lot in healthcare and healthcare technology. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, great to have you on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Don Carr is here. Hey, Don, how hey. are you? Let's see, Navy, White Sox, orthopedic surgeon. What else is on yes. the <laughs> resume? Welcome <laughs> to the bar, man. That's it. Great to have That's you on the I show. Do. How long have you been an orthopedic surgeon? Uh, almost 34 years. Wow, no kidding. Entire, and, entire career in the military. And all in the military. Wow, did you join them? And thank you for your service, first and You're foremost. Welcome. Really appreciate that. Um, Right out of high school, out of college, when did you enter? So, no, I went to the University of Florida on a baseball scholarship. Okay, great. Drafted by the White Sox. That's right, that's played, right. Played in their minor league that's system right. for yep. about three to four years. Okay. Uh, had a career-ending arm injury. Um, okay. Decided I needed to make a living some other way, so <laughs> ended up going to medical school. Nice. And I loved it. It's awesome. been a great career. Well, that's great. Great having you on the show. I know you and I could talk off air a lot about injuries. I know <laughs> yes. I've got plenty. Of, I yeah. went to the doctor recently. He's like, so what hurts? I'm like, where do you want me to start? I right. could start and tell you about every right. body part, but great to have you on the show. Okay. So this is for everybody. And of course, with Leanna being here and, uh, you know, looking to be our next mayor, what, what is, and I, I'm not going to start with you, Leanna. Yeah. I want you to hear from the, from these gentlemen. Um, what does Jacksonville need? When you look to the future of Jacksonville. What what do you you look at, Don? What do you think Jacksonville needs to be the city that you hope it can be? So this is an original by any means. Um, the waterfront developed, I think. And I think that's what we really need. Yeah. Our, our yeah. suburbs, if we even, do we call them suburbs? You know, yeah. whether it's the yeah. beaches or whatever. I mean, they're all fantastic. And I love sure. downtown, but I, I agree with you. Downtown from the, where the landing used to be all the way wrapped around, that should be filled with with prosperity. What do, what do you think, Dan? So I live downtown. Okay. And I think it's a great place to live, especially if you live alone, as I do. Okay. But okay. we need to do more things to bring families downtown. Okay. And to me, that's Fair. more than just rooftops. We need to feature some family-friendly okay. activities. The riverfront parks, I think, will be key to that. Okay. When you Green spaces. At, when you look at the best things that have happened downtown the last few years, it's been, number one, the, the scooters, which sure. have made a big difference. And, yeah, I have. Uh, the, yeah. Our future mayor had something to do with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you look at the USS Orlek, which was a great addition to the downtown. Agreed, agreed. And a great, you know, family activity. No doubt. Uh, and you look at uh, what Vistar has done in terms of helping build a, sure. a sense of place downtown. Yeah, yeah. So to me, we just need to make smart investments. And they're not always the big investments. Right. 
Sometimes it's just the things to improve the quality of life. Yeah, like infrastructure and whatnot. Yeah. And, you know, look, it, um, you add the uh, the aquarium that's coming, right? The aquarium is going to be here eventually, I think, right? It's going to be near the Orlec, I'm told, down on the down by the There's shipyard. Discussions about it. And discussion. Yeah. So museum-like type yeah, things, right, right yeah. that people can come yeah. and visit the green spaces. You need the rooftops. You also need the shops and the restaurants and the, the things, places to go, bars, what have you. Absolutely. Um, but that should all be coming. All right, Leanna Cumber, our mayor mayoral candidate here on the show what would a what do you think jacksonville needs to get to that next step and how are you gonna help spearhead that yeah i completely agree with both of you um but i would kind of take it a step further right okay. uh the city really needs leadership and leadership with a vision which mm -hmm. is what we have lacked for decades and it's why we have you know twenty two thousand boat registrations in the city but nowhere to boat to you have to leave the county or belong to a private club, right? Mm -hmm. We should have, I mean, cities, I mean, you named them, Charleston, Savannah, Tampa, even D.C., which you can only boat five months out of the year, right. has incredible areas to boat up to. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Savannah, their river walk is amazing. Yeah, it's it is. It's incredible. That's cool. We have everything those cities have, and we have more. And yep. so we need to build up the downtown. We need to, you know, as a mom of a nine and 11 year old, yep. we need to have family friendly places to go. Yep. We need to have places for kids who have just gotten out of college to yep. want to move to and for all of us to go and have dinner and have drinks and yep. be able to boat up to it. So yep. we really, you know, when people think of the Southeast, people should really be thinking of Savannah, Charleston yep. and Jacksonville. And yep. that's that's what we should and can reach if we have the right leadership, which is why I'm running. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and I agree with all that too. I, I think, you know, being safe huge. Mm -hmm. So police, you know, and all that and they they got to do it right and everybody's got to do it right. We know we know that prosperity for everybody. Everyone yeah. hopefully can have a chance to do what they want in this world from our city. You know, and just, uh, you know, more things to do downtown. I, I, I agree with that. What's been the hold? And if you guys got questions, feel feel free to jump in. You don't have to wait for me to. But what, what's what been the hold up? Like, I know this. I know everybody says this. And I'm going to say it again. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a transplant. I'm not a native. I've been here a long time. Why is the jail still on Main Street? Like, why is it right there? It's been here since I've been here. Yeah. What is that? Is that just the, the leadership doesn't want to move it? They can't move it? I mean, what That to me is such an eyesore. No disrespect to you criminals out there. We all got a story. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, why Why yeah. is that riverfront yeah. problem? Well, you know, people talk about downtown all the time. When people run for office, run for mayor, they talk about making downtown work. Yep. But we've made, but the leadership has made downtown the most expensive, most difficult place in the entire 864 square miles to develop. So if we're serious about really renovating downtown, that we need to completely reverse that, make it the easiest place to develop, the easiest place to open a small business so that people can rapidly develop downtown. Yep. And then we need to have a plan. Moving the jail is not something you can do no, overnight. I know. I know. And people talk about it and leaders have talked about it, but there's no plan. It's really right. a six to eight year process. That's something we need to start that. Yep. But what we should do is build up the sports and entertainment area, which is happening, the yep. core yep. of downtown sure. so yep. that it squeezes the jail and makes that property really valuable yep. to people so that it's not just the city paying the $400 million to move it, but it's actually developers in a yep. public private partnership yep. saying, okay, now we want these four. And, and in the city's defense right now, there are a lot of investments that are at least earmarked to happen, right? I don't know if they're all happening, but I know there's a lot that we're looking at to develop downtown. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are there are things that are happening. There are things that are, you know, unfortunately, like the River City Brewing that fell apart. Yep. And, uh, you know, we need to be we need to be intentional about it. We need to make it not take four years and millions of dollars yep. to try to do anything. And last thing I'll say is we need a master plan. Yep. We can't. All of these things need to be interconnected. That is yep. how cities grow. It's how Tampa grew. Nashville, yep. you know, you name it. All right. Fellas, any last words for the mayor? Sounds great. Future mayor, <laughs> potentially. Great to have yeah. you on the show again. Thank you, fellas, for being here. Really appreciate it. And go, go vote. Go vote. I don't know why people don't vote. Like, they do yeah. vote. But the majority of 
Chats for those who vote. Yeah, please go vote. Yeah, go vote. The election, again, the election is Tuesday. Yep. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Early voting ends this Sunday at 6 p.m. So, cool. and we are really excited, and it's a turnout game, and we're getting our voters out. All so, right, best thanks. of luck. Good thanks for being you. here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, you like these kind of conversations? You can see plenty more at IWantabuzz.com. Till next time, stay safe and be cool out there. And we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers.